Guys, this is my PB, no doubt. This is my PB. Oh my God. My God. Massive. 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 Yo. God. Oh my God. That's my biggest pass ever, probably. Well, gotta grab this. It's about six in the morning. Ugh. Get him, get him. You lost him? Yeah. Man, I saw that. Gotta be a fish on there, Pops. I'm so lost. This isn't supposed to be here. Yeah. There's a gar in front of me. That's nice. I don't know what to do. Fish aren't biting. I'm about to throw a top wire, it's overcast, rainy. Might go to a crank or something. That, some type of moving bait here soon. We got two jugs on the loose. No clue where they are. I think we blow, they blow it into a, the bottom of the dock. So. There's going to be a, a sticky one. I just want to catch a fish out of the John boat. Just drop my grandpa off. This wind dies down, the trawl motor will be fine, but we can barely move up the freaking lake with all this dang wind. You guys, I just found this jug. I dropped my grandpa off, and I was looking in the middle of the lake, and this jug is sitting here in the middle of the lake, just floating around. I can't, I don't know how these jugs are moving with these giant weights on them. It doesn't make sense to me. They moved, this one's moved over 100 yards easy. That's really insane. See that jug right there? That was probably all the way back of that sailboat. That's a hundred yards at least. We literally have not caught any fish either. It's really, really, I mean, my grandpa had two strikes on a frog. It's really not proven to be a, uh, a good day. I'm not caught. Crap, guys. I don't know what the heck's going on. I might tie to like a really deep diving crankbait. I'm on a ledge right now. A really big drop off of the rock bottom, so I don't know. Well, guys, this giant bait is not working. I'm just getting snagged. I don't know what to do. I don't know where the fish are, honestly. That's, that's my main problem here. Y'all, we got one on the fall. It's a nice one. I don't know. Oh, come on. Get in here. Get in here. Get in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go. That's a good one, guys. About a little pounder. I was just thinking, I'm, I'm just sitting out here literally not catching anything. Kind of straight out. I don't know if what, that, what there is right there. Maybe it's a drop off. Real in. I'm like, wait a sec. This isn't a snag this time. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, jig right in the head. That hook set was not good, but I mean, I guess I put a hole in his mouth. That is awesome. Let's freaking put that back in there for the picture. Oh yeah, guys. Oh yeah, look good. Heck yeah, I am stoked. This gives me confidence, honestly. What's up with his tail there? What the heck? This guy's been bit at or something. Heck yeah, let's go. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Guys, you don't know what this fish means to me. This little one pound fish. That means we're catching more too. Woohoo! Weird thing on his tail. All right, 
All right, guys, here's my first fish of the day. We really grinded it out, caught him right on a football jig. I'm gonna catch some more, I'm gonna let him go after I take a little fish selfie. Let's get a release on him, guys. Freaking heck yeah. I love you, buddy. Ew. Let's go! <laughs> Heck yeah! We're catching more. Alright, putting you guys back on and getting out there again. Alright guys, you do not know what that fish just did. Literally just gained all my confidence back. And confidence in fishing, in my opinion, is a very big thing you don't have confidence i mean i don't know you're just not i mean one of the number one things you're not going to enjoy it if you don't have confidence if you don't think you're catching fish and why the heck are you there but i mean you you gotta you gotta gain the confidence but before that you kind of just like blindly casting doing whatever or if you have a fish finder that is your confidence so if, if you guys know if you guys are bank fishermen or you fish off boat or a little john boats no no fish finder whatever or you haven't fished a spot before you know what i'm talking about but anyways i'm here at the ozarks i've said that about a million times but i hope you guys are enjoying these videos i mean just look at this place this is my home lake freaking super special place to me and i i mean i really can't wait to get home and film all these video or edit all these videos for you guys to get out i i've been slacking i i posted like once a week for the past two weeks just so i could come here and film all these but i'm gonna get back on that two two a day schedule probably oh my god giant gar right next to me You guys just see that? A little giant spotted gar right there. Came up right next. I don't think that was a spotted gar. It was probably a long nose or a short nose. But dang. Anyway. I can't believe we didn't catch anything on the jokes today. But I hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm having a really good time. And I just I wanna get I want I wanna get that across to you guys. So you guys stay tuned. We're trying to catch some fish here. I'll probably move up. I'll probably go all the way over there. If you guys can see that go up in here i really hope my troll motor battery doesn't die but we're gonna be out here for a while and then at the end we'll probably go back to the end of the cove and cast that net rig out i know there's probably some smaller fish back there but it'll be fun and maybe today i'll go take the uh carp rods get them all rigged up and go sit back there on like a, a little four foot flat and um see if i can catch some fish so you guys stay tuned as always Giving it one more cast, guys, and then we're moving. This looks like a place where if the bass were spawning, which they could be, I don't know, it might be a little too late for that, but they'd be over here. A little gravel. Oh, God. I'm in the tree, guys. Ugh. It's a good little spot back here, though. I think the fish are deeper, but always good to try. There's a little drum that's dead on the side. Honestly, got pretty surprised by that fish we caught. We got another one. We got another one. Mm-hmm. Yep. Got two. I told you guys what I say. What did I say? We got another fish. Got another little midget. I might, since if they're, if they're small back here, I might just throw the net rig. I mean, this is a good place to throw the net, and it's a lot smaller. Uh... Guys, we're hooked up on top water. That's a little guy, but on the spoof. Let's go. Whoa, this guy's weird looking, but... He had the spook right as left that bank. Come on, man. Heck yeah. Fish on top water, guys. A little one pounder again. Let's 
got popped out of the water and then the line got stuck on the hook under it so it didn't walk well after it got hit but I got hit over here I knew I would this bait walks so well on the water bass pro shops at, oh got one Thank you. No, stay down, stay down. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Gotta keep him pinned. Gotta keep him pinned. No! Are you freaking serious? Guys, you can't tell. I don't fish from a boat for a lot. I'm not very good at that, or uh, anyway. I lost so many fish doing that. that exact thing right there. It's like the third one I've missed on freaking top waters because I'm so stupid. I get right to the boat, can't get it in. I can't believe that. Jeez, at least you guys saw it. I mean, that was a pound and a half, probably two. Nothing huge, so I'm not too mad, but man, that sucks. I can't, <laughs> I can't wait to show my freaking friends that, oh, oh, got another. Man, they're over here. We're getting this one, guys. I'm freaking getting it. This one's about the same size. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. Okay. Yeah, I'd say about a pound, maybe. This is awesome. They're really hitting top water over here. There's a whole bunch of them back here, guys. Another nice one, one pounder probably. Heck yeah. How many fish have we caught today? Like four? It's a little revenge for the last one, guys. Man, these bass are awesome. I wish I, I need to get John Boat, guys. Like this video so you can support me to pay for a freaking John Boat. Make this video go viral so I can get a John Boat. Got blown up on it at the front of this dock, guys. Top water's really killing it right now. All right, y'all. I'm gonna start casting these docks towards the house and go on the main lake again. I don't know what it's gonna produce, but we've caught a ton of bass today. He hit, and I was like, "What the heck just hit this?" But I guess it was a green sunfish. So, well, fish just took off my other claw. What the heck, man? Gotta have to switch that out. I'm gonna finish fishing in here. Go ahead and do that. Oh my god. Just got destroyed. I don't know what that is. There might be a snag. Lily just got destroyed. Oh boy. Get in here, get in here. What in the heck just happened? bass came back about I think this is a spot his tongue's rough definitely a spot but this guy came back for that bait three times took it down like three times and just hammered it then I got I set the hook and I got it stuck under the boat so I couldn't turn the GoPro on I was in a little sticky situation but that's a pretty fish I'm gonna take a picture of him take a picture of all my fish but Caught him right here. Whole school of white bass just came up and hit my uh, thing. One brought it under and I didn't set the hook fast enough because I was watching them. I didn't see what ate it. 
Yeah, I always saw was the thing, because the thing's about as big as the, or the uh, little school of them. Little fish just hit my freaking lure and screwed it up. It's about right where I broke off. The other day. I like this spot. Get it up as close as I can to that rock wall. Bring it over. That was a good cast. Guys, whatever that was, it followed me from right there, all the way up to my bait, all the way up to the boat when I lifted out of the water, it hit, and I look down and I see its head. It's like this big, I don't, I have no clue what the heck it could have been. Guys, this is my PB, no doubt. This is my PB, oh my God. It's like a five, it's like a five, it's like a five, it's like a five. Oh my, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my god, it's like a five, no doubt. No doubt about it. He's got a frick. He's all the way under this dock, dude. Oh my god. Massive. 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 Oh my god. I got him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my God, I'm taking him back to my house. I gotta call my, I gotta call my grandpa. Oh my God, oh my God, you guys see that fish? Four or five pounder right there. How much you think this is, five, four? Will you go get my uh, bag somewhere? It's, it's got a scale in it. This is my PB for sure. Here, just wait. Here, I'll just pull this up. Oh boy, it's not on. Hold on. It's two, two point eleven, two point twelve, two point, well, two point ten kilograms. Holy crap, I think that's a five pounder pops. That uh, might be back up. 2.10 kilograms. I'm shaking. Alright guys, giant 2.11 pound or 2.11 kilogram bass. I'm gonna do the calculations here soon. Literally the one to end the trip. Freaking huge and we're gonna let him go. Caught on the spook on top water. I'm still shaking from this. This is my PP. So here we go. Yeah, we record this. I'm close kind of. And there she goes. I'm shaking. <laughs> I'm shaking, dude. He jumped three times, and I was like, because every time I jump, if you don't keep them pinned, they they spit it. I can't believe that just happened. I'm, I'm, my adrenaline was pumping so fast, it was insane. I, that's my biggest pass ever, probably. Really? Yes, at the Ozarks. Good. For I think that beats the one I had in Florida. Good I don't know. for you. All right guys, not gonna lie, that kind of ended up a lot different than I thought it would. Um, we freaking caught up. Probably my my official PB, 100%, like on a weight, that's my official PB. I may have caught a fish six pounds down in Florida, but I think I told you guys I was gonna go carp fishing today, and I might do that, but that video is gonna be for a different time. I can't fit all this in one video. It'd be like 40 minutes long, and I, I wouldn't be able to make it the way I wanted to, unless, Unless carp fishing doesn't um, pan out how I want it to be, but actually no, yeah, can't can't fit it in this video. So we caught so many bass on top water right now. All they're all they're hitting on is top water basically and a jig, but really only top water on around those docks. I was 
about four twitches away from the bank, I'd, I'd slam them every single time with that little Bass Pro Shops XPS Slim Dog Spook. Best bait ever. I've caught so many fish on that bait. Such a confidence bait right there. Um, I, I honestly did not expect to catch so many fish or at least have so much action going on today. I thought it'd be really slow, but it really panned out. Um, and I caught that my PB. I was not expecting that at all, which is insane. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. This is Ozark's probably the second video I'll make. Bass fishing. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it's freaking awesome. I'll go out again tomorrow, probably bass fishing. And no, tomorrow's my last day, so I'll probably go out again tomorrow. And uh, probably cart fish tonight. Uh, cart fish during the day, catfish at night, or bass fish. Put out the jug lines again do all that stuff so you guys stay tuned that'll be for a different video and uh yeah hope you guys are enjoying this stuff outside out peace thanks for watching remember if you guys like this video please give it a like it really helps me out and if you're not subscribed go ahead and click that subscribe button if if, if you like some more of my videos so stay tuned thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next time peace